<laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's amazing the views. Yes. If we would stop, I yeah. I think this is the coolest thing we've ever done. Good morning, amigos, from El Estado de Mexico. We are right in front of the uh, third highest peak in Mexico, Itzaciotil. Did I say that right? <laughs> Itzaciotil. <laughs> we are about to go on uh, the hike of a lifetime. We just arrived here early this morning. It is already extremely beautiful, unlike I, any, anything I've ever seen really in my life. Let's get on this hike. <laughs> It's freezing. We we made it. We drove up. We were at La Joyita, kind of a, close to the trailhead and like a little parking lot basically. Then we're gonna walk to the trailhead. Uh, we we're with Nomada Tours. I found them online. I was basically looking for something different here in Mexico City. I want to do a tour that not everybody else is doing, something a little less touristy, something that can really show off the true beauty of Mexico and We've already done that just on the drive up here. It has been, it's already been worth it to come up here. Uh, I can't wait to get started on this hike. Hillary's putting on a down jacket because she's cold. This is gonna be cool. You've been eating too many churros. <laughs> yeah, this is, I feel like a churro. <laughs> How are you feeling? We made it! <laughs> <laughs> We've hiked like 10 minutes. That was easy, all right, let's go home. How you feeling? My heart's beating. It's fast. <laughs> well, you look pretty. <laughs> I can't speak. We've made it to the first pass. It took us, uh, actually I don't know how long it took us up here. I think we're going at a pretty, pretty decent pace. Didn't feel too bad. Hillary might have something different to say though. <laughs> but, but it is absolutely amazing up here. It's so quiet, so different from the city. Even our apartment, it is, we, it's never quiet. So this is, if you're coming to Mexico City, coming out here is a must, just to somewhat escape the city. As great as the city is, sometimes you just need some peace and quiet. And also, if you're coming to Mexico, whether it's coming here or going to uh, a different a different uh, mountain range within Mexico, I don't think you can know Mexico without knowing the outdoors part of Mexico, without knowing the nature of Mexico. Don Goyo is waking up. He's uh, got a little miniature eruption, just some smoke coming out. For those who don't know, I think this is, um, there's only two active uh, volcanoes here in Mexico, correct? Correct, yeah. Uh, and this is one of them. And it, uh, it's uh, every now and then, maybe once or twice a week, uh, it'll erupt. Big clouds of smoke come out. This is a, a small version of that, but we're on a volcano ourselves. Itza, in and of itself, is a volcano. I'm pretty sure it's dormant, right? Yeah, well, it's actually extensive. 
Okay, so it's not going to go off? No, no. And uh, please excuse uh, Mr. Sony Pro GoPro thing over here. You doing okay over here? <laughs> Too many churros. Too many churros. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say this about a hundred times, but these views are absolutely stunning. The weather feels, weather feels pretty good up here. The sun is intense, but I don't know if you can tell, we've shed some layers. Hillary's already thinking about quesadillas. I'm struggling. It's getting significantly harder to breathe. We're at, how many feet do you think we're at? Here we are around... Or meters. 4,000 to almost 4,300. About 4,300 meters. I'll, I'll put that conversion down for feet as well. Uh, so I think we're quite possibly at the highest point in, uh, on the world that we have ever been to. I think the highest we've ever been is maybe 12 or 13,000 in Colorado. How you feeling? Like a mountaineer. <laughs> you look like a mountaineer. I feel like one. I'm gonna eat so many churros when we get home. We have made it to the third pass. Possibly the final final destination for our hike. I said if you wanna go on. I don't know sure. I might go on, I don't know. So far the only thing difficult for me or the only thing sketchy has been like the rocks and these shoes i don't have hiking shoes so sometimes it just feels a little slick we have the poles so that's good this last little bit i can feel the elevation a little bit more i can feel my breathing the last two minutes was up uphill you weren't talking as much didn't talk quite as much but i feel like you can see all of mexico from up here <laughs> We are at the third pass, which is David's favorite, and I agree, this one's very wide, and so the views from up here are insane. He said you can, just feels like you can just reach out and touch something, and I think I see that too. We've heard some fireworks, we think, because it's Wednesday <laughs> around noon. And, uh, and it's Mexico. It's amazing. Minus, but this is well worth the hard heartbeats. <laughs> I think the two guides we have who are standing here listening to me, I think they did a great job of um, like tailoring the experience to us. So yeah. I need to take a break every 50 steps and I feel like there was adequate breaks with no pressure. And uh, we made it to our summit today. Yes, uh, I next think, time I might go. Uh... Yeah, next time I'm sending Greg on his own because my heart, my heart and my finger, my frozen fingertips <laughs> can't take it. Uh, this has been really cool though. I think this is something that we'll remember we should, forever. We still have to make it down, so hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully you'll see About this video. About that. <laughs> Vicente's gonna carry me. <laughs> and on the on the way, and I kind of mentioned this earlier, probably the uh, something David has said. Uh, is that just one thing he enjoys about what he does outside of hiking is being able to show off Mexico and just really show show Mex show people what Mexico is really about outside of what you may see on the news or or hear. Uh, there's so much negative media about Mexico you don't hear about uh, all the all the wonderful things there are to do here. So uh, and so far, obviously, they've done, done a great job of showing us showing us Mexico and hopefully through our video we are able to show you a different side of Mexico that you haven't seen now. We're gonna try and slow motion our way back down the mountain.
Okay, we've made it to the second pass. Oh. First pass? Ah, we've made it to the first we pass. We're at the third and then we went second. We're getting pretty close. Vicente and Hillary have been flying down the mountain. I didn't, I was following him. <laughs> me, and, me and David have been back here solving all the world's problems. Drinking beer. <laughs> Drink, drink, uh, drinking beer. <laughs> having, some good, uh, having some good relationship time back there. <laughs> um, this has been awesome. We're definitely not done yet. Make sure you stick around to the end. We've been promised something we, special. We've been promised, we've been promised something pretty special, uh, and it involves food, and it involves Hillary's favorite food. We'll let you come to the conclusion or guess what that might be. I feel way better coming down. I actually kind of like coming down because it's kind of fun. It's like the thrill of coming down. It's kind of like, well, I could break my forearms at any moment when I try to catch myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's um, exhilarating. No, it is exhilarating. I kind of yeah. like coming down. It's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. I think uh, David and Vicente have created a monster, at least in Goyo. I don't know about I don't know about what. Uh, <laughs> you guys can carry me to the top and then I'll walk down. <laughs> It. We have made it back to La Jolla. I guess we still have to hike back down there. I have a lot of La Jolla. <laughs> uh, it is absolutely, <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous here. It's amazing the views. Yes. If we would stop, I yeah. Think this is the coolest thing we've ever done. I was it's, thinking the same it's like thing. Top three. It's not not to downplay any of the other things we've done, but I would come. I would fly to Mexico City only to do this. Only to do this without a doubt Same. uh it's so unique it's so different especially for stuff uh offered in the city uh yeah. the views care. the flowers i think there might have been some blue bonnets or something that I looked like those. blue bonnets next time we're going all the way baby yeah <laughs> uh now we still have a little bit of hike we still have to walk actually to the car we're not done just <laughs> yet uh but then we've got some water a little bit of food and i believe some uh, some food. I almost said what it was. <laughs> now we have made it to the car. Okay, we have made it to Don Don Yuera y Don Boyo. They are supposed to have the best quesadillas. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, they've got quesadillas here of like whatever you can ever imagine. Cafe de Oya, atole, soup. So this looks amazing. I got one de flor, the flor de cabeza, one de piquillo, and then uno de pollo. And muchas gracias. Just in time, we have atole de. Yeah, it's not. It's the kind with the. Uh -huh, the kind with chocolate in it. Hillary's toy. It's close. Uh, we have had a blast. It is amazing how much we've seen in just a few hours today. I feel like. I feel like. I don't know. The mountain has like a very magical thing to it. I don't know how to explain it. I think because it's something that's so incredible to see, and then mm -hmm. when you're up there. It is silent, and it's like just yeah. for a moment, the world is yours. That yeah. sounds way deeper than I meant it to be. Yeah, it's uh, but it's really true. It's like really motivating, really Serenity inspiring, almost. Like... Uh, I know we sound super cheesy to you at home, but you you just have to come out here and try it for yourself. No matter what language you speak, no matter your age, no yeah. no matter your your physical abilities, they really do have customized tours for yes. for anything. That's one thing I asked at the beginning was if you you know if you don't want to hike a mountain, you just want to come out here, walk around, see some things. They can definitely set that up for you too. Yes. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like my path to becoming a nature photographer oh, no. has just begun. <laughs> that means I have to climb more mountains. <laughs> if only we can work on our drone drone fund, then we oh, I can no. truly become a nature photographer. Hillary can be my assistant out, out in nature. <laughs> Thanks. A cornea, 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 tortilla. I do want to point out we did have to order cheese on our quesadilla for all of our uh, 
all of our non non chilangos up there. <laughs> well, you guys already know I finished mine really fast. Hill? I did it. And this may be the first time. We don't believe you. She did it. Save a few pieces of chicken. She ate her entire meal. <laughs> <laughs> I may not reach a summit, but I can finish two quesadillas. <laughs> I knew I liked David. He ordered he ordered us more quesadillas. <laughs> okay, amigos, we have made a home. Wow. That was, <laughs> we always say that about Mexico City. Uh, without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt, best thing we've done in Mexico. Hillary said it on the yeah. way home when we were talking, top three things she's ever done in her life. And somewhere in there in the mix was our wedding day. I don't know. By that, default. I don't know what that other missing thing is. That's probably number one. <laughs> Passing the CPA exam. <laughs> okay, there Red we go. Loser. Getting married to me. <laughs> <laughs> passing a CPA exam and going on the hike. It was seriously amazing. It was. Uh, I really don't know what more we could say about no. it than uh, it was truly like a bucket list style experience. Excellent guys, where do you we'll, want? Yeah, we'll post a link below uh, directly to their website yes. where you can book. And trust us when we're telling you that they have, they will customize any trip for any skill yes. level, any experience level. Uh, they have gear. Whatever your goal is for that day, whether it's to hike to the third pass like us, or the first pass, or to just go and see the place. Uh -huh. I think that they actually tailor everything yeah. to everyone, all yeah. skill levels. So. Or if you want to do like crazy, crazy stuff, they do that too. So, uh, I know. Us. <laughs> so they really do a little bit of for, for yes. everything. Uh, and to close it off, I really think, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can't know Mexico without knowing uh, the nature of Mexico, the, the natural beauty of Mexico, yes. getting outside of the city. It's important to know places like Mexico City and Guadalajara and Vallarta and and just all the different, you know, get to know the food and whatnot, but it's also really important to know Yes. just what else this country has to offer naturally. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for coming along our hike today. Be sure and subscribe to our channel, click the bell, that way you get notified. Cada vez. We post a video and we'll see you guys with our sore legs. <laughs> Manana. Adios. Bonus footage. Foot itch. I was wearing three pairs of socks and obviously shoes. I'm sure on the video you could tell how dirty this was. Let's get Weta's reaction to my feet. <laughs> Mine are the same. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? No. What happened? Here.